Uh, this is a short tutorial on the song Marianne. So um, if we look at the music here, we can see that uh, at the beginning, the time signature is 4-4. Four, four. That means we have four beats per measure. So each measure, we're going to count four beats. And at this beginning level, we're just going to strum once per beat. So we're going to strum this chord, the C chord. We're going to strum, strum, two, three, four. Strum, 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 strum. Then when we get to this third measure here, we'll switch to the G7 chord. And we'll strum the G7 chord four times. Four times for the next measure. Four times for the next measure. Four times for the next measure. And then it'll tell us to switch back to C. So um, we'll be strumming like that. The beat is going to go about this fast at this level. Okay. The two chords are the C chord and the G7 chord. Now for both of these, these are simple versions of the chord. The G7 chord is going to be just my first finger here. And it's going to be uh, first fret, first string. And I'm going to strum three strings. Okay. So it's going to be a very simple sounding, very thin sounding chord. All right, and then the C chord, I'm just going to take this finger and move it up a string. So first fret, second string, try only to touch that string so you get a good, clean sound on each string. All right, so I'm going to strum like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So try and um, strum uh, exactly those three strings. All right, so here's a little bit of how the song is going to start. Ready, go. C chord, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then G7. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then it stays on G7, like so. And I'll make a separate video of me playing through the song.